Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to bless you for your word. As I share it, this use me as a vessel of honor to be a blessing to your people. As we remind each other that our morning is coming, I pray the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet, that as I share, I'll be protected against any attacks of destruction and wastage of time. I declare and decree that this is a holy moment and holy ground and even this media, even for my listeners and my viewers, that their time as they listen and watch will not be in vain. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA, and this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is situated in Seattle, Washington. God is good all the time. The title of my message today will be, When your morning come, you are not going to be the same anymore. And I'm um, actually sharing because it is afternoon from 3 to 6.30 p.m. Celebrate your moment with joy is hosting a meeting. And the, the, the theme is uh, from Psalms 30, verse 5, that says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. Nevertheless, my verses of reference right now is from Exodus 14. I'm going to read verse 24 to, 30, to 31 in Jesus' name from New King James Passion, the Bible says, Now it came to pass in the morning, not the morning, in the morning watch, that the Lord looked down upon the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and crowd, and he troubled the army of the Egyptians, and he took off their chariots' heels, so that they drove them with difficult with difficulty, and the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel. For the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians on their chariots and on their horsemen. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And when the morning appeared, note the morning, the sea returned it to its full depth while the Egyptians were freeing into it. So the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Then the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the, the army of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. Not so much as one of them remained, but the children of Israel had walked on dry rod in the midst of the sea, and the waters were awoke to them on their right hand and on their left. Verse 30, So the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Thus... Israel saw the great work which the Lord had done in, the, in Egypt. So the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. May the Lord bless his word. The Israelites had suffered in the land of captiv captivity. They were oppressed. And even their, their jobs, they were made hard every day. But you know, when that morning came, when God intervened for them, that morning came and they forgot the pain they had. By the way, just before they crossed the Red Sea, because they could not see a way, they looked behind and the chariot of Pharaoh were following them. And they looked ahead of them and there was the Red Sea and they could not see a way. They started even complaining to Moses, why did you take us? From where we were. It was better there where we were eating the pumpkins. God help us. But I thank God that the Lord, God spoke to Moses, his servant, and said, Tell the people to stand still and see the salvation, what will come upon them. I thank God that God will always appoint a Moses of the time who he'll speak to and to be able to encourage the, 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 the people. I don't know what, whether you are the kind of a person when a Moses has been sent to you, you stay stubborn. You might not experience the morning when it comes with its brightness. 
But I thank God that when that morning appeared, God did only what himself could do because it was only him who could make the waters be the wall on this side and on the other side and they passed through the dry rod. And it was only God who could make it possible that the enemy, when the enemies were about to pursue the Israelites after they have crossed on the dry rod, when the Egyptians wanted to take advantage of the intervention of the Lord, oh, guess what? God waited until every person who was an Israelite have crossed through the Red Sea and have gone to the other side. And when the chariots Pharaoh were preparing to do the same, oh, they were finished in the sea. I tell you, my brother, my sister, during that night moment when you think that you are, you are done, your enemies are against you, the enemy of finances, the enemy of sickness, the enemy even of where you work, my brother and my sister, God is waiting after your deliverance, after you have stepped out to your victory. When they are coming after you, you will see them no more. That's why there is a reason for you to celebrate every moment with joy. I'm not just putting on this t-shirt for the sake of. I want to remind you that when the, your morning comes, the darkness will free away. And you'll be filled with brightness. I'm looking through the window and there, is, there are rays of the sunshine. When that morning comes, the darkness that you have gone through, the, sun, you know, the, the, the rays of the sun, of the the son of God will brighten your heart, will brighten even your appearance, will brighten even your age. That people will be looking at you and say, didn't we think that she is a grandma by, by the way I am, but I always say that age is but, just but a number. And I always say that the time I am timed, not serving the Lord, don't count on those years. My brother, my sister, when your morning comes, you're going to forget your cry. You're going to forget the, 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 the useless work you used to do. Is somebody trying to remind you of your past mistakes, of your past failures? Let, them, let me know, let, uh, remind you that God focuses on your newness. Because the Bible continues to tell us in the book of 2 Corinthians that if any man is in Christ, behold, he's a new creature. The old is gone and the new has come. This afternoon, one of our speakers has gone through a road. God has delivered him. I can't just wait to hear my brother speak. I tell you, you know, when God transforms us, it is good we speak to people so that we, they know. We are, we are not born angels, just like Saul. Saul was transformed. He was a persecutor of Christians, but he was transformed and became the greatest apostle. Your past failures, your past sins, once you tell the Lord, I come, he's going to make you a new creature and you'll be a testimony. Your past is a testimony for the future so that you can be encouraged other people. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. And I want to remind you, there is no night that is more than 12 hours. Even when you work overnight, when you're just about around 3 a.m. there, you feel your body is so weak. I know it. I do it. So I'm talking out of experience. But when that morning comes, then you feel like you are energized. So celebrate every moment with joy because your morning is coming. It doesn't matter what you are going through right now, but remember your morning is coming. I hope you'll be able, if you're in Minnesota, you're going to join us this afternoon as we encourage each other there is something for you i'm also expecting something from the lord but i want to remind you when your morning come you are not going to remember those dark moments anymore may the lord bless you let's pray father in jesus name i pray for my fear and my listeners who is, who is going through that night moment, that dark moment, that you shall brighten them, Lord. Let them just stand still and see you brightening their future, brightening their marriage, brightening their career, brightening their health for the glory and honor of your name in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The starting point, my brother, my sister, is accepting the Lord to save you. We were born sinners because we are the descendants of our Adam and Eve. But God reconciled us back to himself by sending Christ to come and reconcile us, to redeem us back. Do you want to accept the Lord? You know yourself. You have never said in your heart because you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth and then salvation is complete. 
If you're in that category, do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I prayed for thy mercy. Transform me, O oh God. I repent of my sin. Let my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. I would encourage you to look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without uh, compromise that keeps integrity of the word from Genesis to Revelation, where you can be established, where you can be rooted in the word of God. My church is starting a series tomorrow. I'm so excited about being rooted. We need to be rooted in the word of God so that when winds come, we cannot be shaken. Why? Because we are rooted in the word of God. You need a church that you can call home where you'll be rooted in the word of God and you'll be able to encourage others that are shaken by what is going on in their eyes. I love you and God loves you the most. Until next time, you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God from all over. I tell you this media, I love it. When you are blessed, be a blessing to other people. You can be able to listen to all these messages in three ways. One, you can dial this number. 605-781-3266. You can also search One Word Miracle Radio. That way, using your smartphone, download the app on one digital media. It's free. You are going to be blessed 24-7 the whole year, free of charge. When you are blessed, be a blessing to other people by sharing. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. And above all, continue praying for us. I love you and God loves you the most. See you for those who are in Minnesota at 3 p.m. God bless you and remember to celebrate every moment with joy because every moment matters every moment counts in your life thank you